So the title of my presentation is a giant component in text generated by a stream. So here the context, we consider data stream of text if generated by social network, uh, just Twitter or by sources of text, then we tra transform them of stream of ages uh, in the graph, and we will take a constant number of samples. So we uh, take k samples from distribution D, and we have these uh, ages here uh, of a reservoir, but which is a random graph. So around the random graph, uh, there is a major subject to know if this if this random graph have a giant component. So let's define what is uh, the giant component. Um, so the giant component here, it have it is a connected component that has a size that is larger than a constant fraction of the number of nodes. And we will uh, show after what uh, the giant component tell us. So here we are going to to focus on two. Um, kind of stream, first case, tweet uh, generated by social network, for example, Twitter, and the second case, document generated by sources. So the conclusion here, if we take uniform samples, samples to tell us something about the tweets, and if we take text, it's, it's necessary to do weighted sampling otherwise the reservoir is not stable and it allow to make the classification. classification. So in both cases, we can um, classify based on samples. So let's begin with the um, Twitter graph. So here we start with the social graph, for example, Twitter. What is a social graph? Imagine here we have a tweet sent by Joe Biden. Here we uh, have the content uh, in the blue, and then the node are tags, and here we have two edges from authors um, to each of the tags. So what we observe when we make a social graph measurement is that the degree distribution is always power law. So here we have a distribution power law. And the naturally have this degree sequence, number of nodes with degree one is CN, the number of nodes that have a degree uh, two, that's CN over four, and the, the number of nodes that have degree three as, as is uh, CN over nine and so on. So here in the plot, in the red plot, we have the power law distribution. So if we look at the graph here on the left, we have 10,000 edges, it has cluster. And if we look at the right, at the reservoir, we have a reservoir with 500 edges. And we can show here, we have two giant components. And uh, there is a correspondence that we detail after between the cluster here in the left and the giant component on the right. So the technique we use to sample in the case of the social network is the reservoir sample. So let's define what is the reservoir sample. So the reservoir sampling, it's classical uh, techniques uh, uh, that maintain in a stream K element and each element taken with the same probability K over M. So here we imagine we have a new element and we want to know um, if we keep it in the reservoir or not. To know if we take it, we suppose that we have M plus anti-point 
and we take it with, with probability uh, k over m plus one. And if if we take it, we replace uniformly one of the element one of the element of the reservoir. So for the parameter here, k is um, the size of reservoir and n is the number of elements. So here, what is we want to know what is the link between the cluster and the giant component. So for this, we'll define what is gamma delta clusters. So the gamma delta cluster here um, is the generalization of the large clique. So it means we're looking for the subset S of the nodes of size delta square root of N and the density of the internal edges is gamma. Essentially, if gamma equal to one, then we have a clique. And if gamma one half, we have a clique of density one half. So the question, is there a gamma delta cluster? In general, this problem is NP hard because generalize the max click. Now we study only a graph that have a degree distribution as mentioned and the, and the probability um, of the degree of node degree i is c over i squared. And the size of reservoir here, here is mentioned uh, is mentioned here. So, and we observe is the following things. If the, there is a gamma delta cluster, there will be a giant component in the reservoir with high probability. If G taken from a distribution social graph with this degree distribution, and if it has no cluster, then dot, we don't will be a giant component in R. So we have here the sample detection algorithms. So we just look at the size of the largest com connected component. And if greater than the threshold, then there is a cluster. And if less, there is no cluster. So here we show in experience, if we observe all the trees that, uh, that are linked link it to CNN, for example, with sliding windows, we can measure the evolution, the evolution of the giant component. So here we show the, by sliding windows, the size of giant component. So this figure uh, indicates the number of edges in windows for each thing. For example, if we um, look at uh, tag bitcoins uh, with the size of the reservoir k equal to 1400, the size of the giant component is approximately 100. And uh, we can, uh, and after that, we can uh, use uh, the giant component for, for a classification. So we can uh, compute distance between giant component and uh, classified uh, with the uh, Cummings techniques. So here we show, um, if we observe, um, we look at source text such as a stream without st storing all data, like the case of the social network. So for example, here we are uh, given a sentence. Sentence. We preprocesses uh, each sentence for document with the uh, with preprocessing technique. And here we show uh, after we can limit, uh, we can apply limitization and then mental calculation. So here, when we applied limitization, arrived will be uh, arrived here and uh, so on. And you will show here, uh, 
for example, for an entity organization, the date, the organization, and so. And here we want, for example, we have one corpus. So um, we have each sentence and convert each sentence to uh, to to uh, graph edges. So we have uh, for each sentence pair of words. So, so the edges are pair, all pair of words from uh, sentence. And uh, after we uh, after we samples with the uh, proportional to the weight of word to back. So what is the word to back techniques? In a simple way to define the word to back techniques. Uh, that make a creation, creation of small dimensional vectors by learning via neural network, such as the dot product V sub I V sub J is approximately equal to number of occurrences of pair of words W sub I W sub J. So here we show Example of words, uh, banks, economic, false, national bank, South Chicago. And now we present um, the sample approach. So here we use a um, sample each pair W, I, W, J with probability proportional to dot product v sub i v sub j so we sample with the with the weighted odds of our sampling the weight is um, the dot product v sub i v sub j and uh, after we uh, we have a giant component of the reservoir and we can compute so uh, the distance between giant component and after we can classify using uh, the technique canvas. So if we um, have the last sentence, and here we show uh, a histogram with pair of words with different ways. So here we have a pair of words, New York around, New York life, life occurs with different distribution of weight. So if we take uh, these sentences and convert them into pair of words, we obtained 36 pairs of words. Then we, then we sample it with the weighted reservoir sampling with k equal to three, and we obtain three uh, sample of pair of words. So first National Bank of Chicago, New York, New York Life, and so on. And after we can show here the giant component of um, the reservoir. So we want to know if um, we show this uh, experience, we want to know if uh, our experience are stable or not. So. What is the definition of uh, stability? For us, if we, if we make two experiments, the question is that we find the same giant component or not. And if we find it, we try to measure the difference between the two experiments. If the difference is small, so that is stable, otherwise is not stable. So here we show our our experiences. We use a different benchmark. So the benchmark SNLE, NIPS paper, Google Play Store user review. And uh, we want um, to show stability between 
the reservoir sampling used from social network uh, like Twitter or the weighted reservoir sampling. So we take different size, K uh, equal 100, K equal 200, K equal 500. And uh, here we can say, so in blue, we have uh, the weighted reservoir stable, uh, the weighted reservoir sampling is almost stable than the reservoir sampling. So after this, we can uh, we can use using classification. So for remind, we don't we don't store all the data all the data. So we process the data like a string, and we want to know what is the topic of a cluster. So for this, we take the giant component near the the content. Uh, so we take the giant component near the center of the cluster built by k means, and the topic is the set of words associated with highest degree node of the giant component. So here our definition for um, for uh, the topic. So in conclusion, uh, our result for a stream of tweets, we show that the large rank component of uniform sample edges of the Twitter graph reflect the large cluster of J, of G. From a stream of text, the uniform sampling is unstable, but the weighted sampling where the weight is proportional to the worst of X similarity provide good result. So, we can say, we can detect cluster, we can see how it involves. And for the text, we want to detect the clusters and they will help us to classify because the giant component will help us to, class to classify the text. For example, all the texts that talk about the same subject will have close the giant component. Uh, so thank you very much for listening to me.